Hi there, travel lovers. Today, let's talk about how to use Google Travel to get your best deals on airfare, hotels, or vacation rental properties. I didn't even know Google listed vacation rental properties for us. And the best part is that it's all in one place, Google Travel. Here are some tips and tricks, so let's get started. Keep in mind that you will find the best airfares on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. Okay, let's go to google.com slash travel and we will be on our way with a virtual travel agent at our fingertips. Google Travel is not just for flights. You can explore, you can find things to do, you can get your flight, you can book a hotel, and now you can book a vacation rental property as well. Let's book our flight first. Say we'd like to go from San Francisco to Honolulu because who doesn't want to go to Hawaii? Put in your dates. I picked random dates. June 12th through June 20th. Oh, let's make it easy. Let's just do the 12th to the 19th, Saturday to Saturday. Some of these fares are not bad for summer. I remember one summer it was upwards of $700 to fly from the West Coast. These are not bad. But look at the upper left where it says track prices. Make that blue because then anytime the prices change up or down within 10%, Google will send you an email and you'll know when to book. You also have a date grid on the upper right. And if you look at the chart, see the different colors, find the green colors because that's when you're gonna get the least expensive airfare. So you pick your date that you wanna leave and the date on the right column that you wanna return. So let's find June 10th to June 17th. That's a full week. Click OK. And there's your new search. If you like graphs, here's one for you. You pick the lowest one on the graph and there's that 337 airfare. Hit OK. And there you go. 337, yes, that's a great fare, but check it out from California all the way back to Dallas, and then all the way back to Honolulu, no thank you. Here's one that's not bad, 416 round trip with just one stop on Delta. I've only heard good things about Delta. Let's check it out. Okay, one hour layover in Seattle. I think I could do that to save $200. But look, this is basic economy. You can't pick your seat. You're the last to board. And if you're the last to board and it's a full flight, you're not getting your carry-on in the overhead. If you're like me and you have to have that window seat, basic economy might not be the best choice for you. There's also the chance that if you buy a basic economy ticket, you'll end up not sitting with the people you're traveling with. You could always go to the gate agent and ask them to change it, but usually it's a big fat no. Okay, since we probably agree that basic economy won't work for most of us, let's go back and see what else they have. Okay, Hawaiian Airlines, don't let me down here. It's one stop for 435. Oh, coming back nonstop for 435 round trip. And it is not basic economy. So we can go right here and book with Hawaiian. And it'll take you right to their website. Let me tell you about booking with a third party such as Expedia or something similar to that. They're great sites, but sometimes it comes with a lot of restrictions and it's very difficult to make changes. If you book directly through the company's website, such as Hawaiian Air or United or Delta, you'll get better service and able to make changes quickly and easily. Okay, maybe not easily, but easier than if you book through a third party.
Well, it was basic economy because here's main cabin for 515 round trip. You know what? I'm taking it. It was better than all the other options. And coming back was nonstop. All right, let's go back to Google Travel and look at hotels. They've already got our dates in there. So let's put in Honolulu. There's Waikiki where most of the hotels are. You can stay at the top where there's the Prince, the Modern, the Ilikai, the Hilton Hawaiian Village. You can book in the center where there's, you know, next to Dukes, the Royal Hawaiian, or down by the zoo, the Marriott, Queen Kapayalane, Sheraton Princess Kaiolani. 110 on every website. That is an amazing deal. Now, even though it's 110 on every website, you should really, the same as airfare, go to the hotel's website and book there. You'll get better service and much more able to make changes. That looks nice. I will say get the least expensive room in the best hotel. Remember that one. If that's not what you want, hey, let's check out the Modern. The Modern is a great location, more at the top of Waikiki. The prices are kind of all over the place, but look, 161 a room, 161 per night. That is a great rate. Let's see if we can find it. Location is great. This place is pretty new and the pool area is really beautiful. It's across on the Waikiki Marina. Zen Hotels is the only one that has this fare, or I'm sorry, this rate per night. I've never used Zen Hotels. If you have, comment down below. So $11.25 for the week, plus $400 something in fees. So basically it's not any cheaper. So you could splurge and stay at the Royal Hawaiian. For $2.84 a night, that sounds a little pricey, but for that place, that is really a pretty good bargain. Or you could go the vacation rental route. The nice thing about vacation rentals is that you have a kitchen, so you can save money on food. This is the Ilikai Marina, full kitchen. It's actually not in the Ilikai, but the Ilikai Hotel, which is usually two something a night, you can rent an Airbnb there and have that same type of room for $150 a night. I actually suggest if you're going to book a uh, vacation rental, you go to the Airbnb website, I'll link it below, or VRBO website, I'll link that below. The same as if you were going to the hotel's website or the airline's website, I think you'll get better service going on their site directly. But like I said, all these are good options because you will have a kitchen. And here, $2.41 a night at the Ala Moana Hotel, but it's basically two bedrooms, one bath. So if you have a family, this is great for giving you some privacy. And it's right next to the Ala Moana Shopping Center, which is the largest outdoor shopping center in the world. All right, so looking at all of this, if this were my trip, I would actually book that uh, Sheraton Princess Kaiolani Hotel. Let's try to get out of here. All right, let's go back to hotels. Back to the Sheraton, but I'm actually gonna go to the Sheraton website to book it. If you wanna get a credit card, you can get a discount even more. I have enough of them, thank you. Okay, so for flights, remember to sign up for email alerts from Google, use basic economy with caution, and book only through the airline's website. For a hotel, book only through the hotel website. 
And for a vacation rental, book only through Airbnb, VRBO, or a vacation rental management company directly. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helps you plan the vacation of your dreams. Hey, an extra special thank you if you made it to the end of this video, comment Google down below. Like and subscribe for more travel content, hacks, and tricks. Thanks again.